This is Buckingham Palace, one of the most secure places on earth, especially in the days following the Queen's death. 10,000 police officers have been deployed every single day in London leading up to the Queen's funeral in the biggest security operation the UK has ever seen. I made it my mission to bypass Britain's finest police constable and stealth camp as close as I could to the Royal Chambers in Buckingham Palace's grounds. This story involves four live TV appearances, a helping hand from a sleeping guard, big boy having some big dreams, and swift removal by the cops. On what grounds? But did I achieve my mission? Join me and you'll find out. I got to London and the Queen's face was everywhere. Tube stations, ATMs, signs. The security increase was obvious before I even got to Buckingham Palace. Everything's barricaded up. Huge barriers had been erected and hundreds of police officers were watching and directing the crowds. Straight away I knew that I'd bitten off more than I could chew. Heavy police presence. Initial thoughts, this is going to be a lot harder than I anticipated. I started off by exploring the area in order to finalise my plan. The more I walk around, the more I realise how difficult this is going to be, slash near impossible, but i got a plan. Flowers and notes were piled high, which is testament to how popular the Queen was. Whilst the Queen may not be able to enjoy these flowers, other members of the royal family have been. Here's Prince Andrew and his daughter Eugene at Balmoral. Eugene's clearly crying and, wait, what was that Andrew? At your mother's memorial, notice how his daughter doesn't even flinch like it's another day in the life. At Buckingham Palace, what do you think of Prince Andrew? <laughs> in a truly abhorrent violation of our right to free speech, this young hero was violently arrested for calling Prince Andrew out, which is more of a punishment than Prince Andrew has received for his alleged crimes. He's not alone. Peaceful protesters are being arrested and charged across the country for calling out Prince Andrew or disagreeing with the monarchy. So when I saw a number of reporters broadcasting live from Buckingham Palace, I felt it was my duty to stand up to the silencing of protesters and spread the good word. Prince Andrew is a nonce, isn't he guys? He's a big nonce. Prince Andrew. Prince Andrew, isn't he a nonce? Allegedly. Uh, I don't know. There's a camera crew there. I'm just going to wait for them to go live. Right, they're live. It's go time. Prince Andrew is a nonce, isn't he, guys? We all know it. Allegedly. Allegedly. He's a nonce, though. Prince Andrew, big nonce. Allegedly. Cheers, guys. I spy with my little eye. Someone about to go live. They've gone live. Prince Andrew is a nonce, though, isn't he? Prince Andrew is a nonce. He's a nonce. Prince Andrew, big nonce. Allegedly. He's trying to ignore me. Deep down, they all know, everyone knows it. Logan Paul, suck it, yeah. What's Logan Paul got to do with the Queen? Well, the word had been spread and it was time to get to the stealth camp before I got beaten up. But where was I going to do it? The army of police barriers, 10 foot walls topped with razor wire, as well as the six month prison sentence for trespassing on a protected site rendered Buckingham Palace Gardens out of bounds. But I had a plan. I have a cunning plan that would get me closer to the royal chambers than being in the gardens themselves. And the key lied in St. James Park. St. James Park was bought off Eton College by King Henry VIII in 1532. Crocodiles, camels, exotic birds and even an elephant were kept on it until most of the park was open to the public in the 17th century. But to this day, there's still no public access to West Island. Less than 100 metres from Buckingham Palace and the Royal Chambers, that is where I was going to attempt to sneakily swim and stealth camp on the day of the biggest royal security operation the UK has ever seen. That's the island right there, Buckingham Palace. And this is the island in here. Some vicious creatures in this lake. I got into position on the bank Buckingham Palace side with the least distance needed to swim. I bided my time waiting for a lull in the police constantly patrolling and Please I went. Please don't attack me Mr Swan. We've got a lull in the security. Now's the time to go. Let's do this. Okay. See you in a bit bro. Let me know if the Ros has come. Oh look, all the duckies are waiting for me. Oh man, this ain't as deep as I thought it would be. Ow. Bro, this is going alright. This is sick. I didn't even get my balls wet. Oh. Sick. Right. I made it across the island. I made it across the island. Yo, 
done. Did anyone notice? Are we good? Sick. Now, this is a broken tent that I brought from France. It literally doesn't stand up straight. It's got broken poles and it's bright blue. So it's definitely not a stealth camp. But you know, we like to challenge ourselves on this channel. Anyone walking on the other side of the lake is going to notice me. Right, that's two poles. They're very broken, but... Unfortunately, I barely made it out to the island before two police officers spotted me and Hi, called sorry? me over. Oh, police. I just wanted to hang out here, if that's all right. It's all right for me to be here, right? You don't think it is, or it's definitely not? Oh, no, I'm not camping. It's just for shelter in case it rains. I think we're good. Well, I'm going to carry on setting up my tent. Make trust the roses to rock up right in the moment of impetus. Are we all good? They're checking the laws. They don't know the laws themselves. Sorry? Uh, some of it might be. What's up with my stuff? Oh, I have a friend watching it, it's okay. Don, can you make sure no one takes anything? Mate, even the police don't know what the law is. Like, this is mad. Rosa Ruse. Anyway, am I right to carry on setting up the tent until you can figure out what law I'm breaking? Woo. Anyway, we all good? A little bit, not as bad as I thought it would be though. I didn't get my balls in it though. What is it mate? Is it like a, some sort of protest or something? No, 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 it's not at all. I, ju I just want to chill out there for a little bit. Not protesting, nothing dangerous in here at all. I did my research though and as far as I'm aware, everything I'm doing is totally legal. Nah, I'm pretty sure it's not. Can you quote me a law though that we're says just that it's to, not? We're just trying to find it. I'm, sure. I'm pretty sure there is a bylaw. Buckingham Palace is obviously a protected area. Uh -huh. You can't go anywhere near there, but this is a public area, the islands and this section, so this is fine. It's not technically public, it is a public area, you've got implied permission to be here. Implied, well, yeah, yeah totally. Just like yeah, every passerby, the 200,000 people that have passed by today yeah, have permission it's, to be it's here it's just a, like it's I a do. Public, it's public mm -hmm. accessible land, mm -hmm. however, it's still protected by bylaws. So is the issue the tent? At the moment, from, from my, from my uh, knowledge, that tent is an issue. Cool. I, I'm happy to take the tent down. Yeah, mate, once we figure out... Um, yeah. Okay, so, Royal Parks and Other Open Spaces Regulations 1997. So, I'm going to give you a reasonable direction to leave the park. Okay. okay. So, I'm asking you to leave the park. On what grounds? It's a reasonable direction. I don't need grounds. It's Royal Parks. Under the Royal Parks Regulation. You can ask me to leave the park I even if I'm doing nothing as wrong. A, as yeah. a police constable. As a police constable. Yeah. I'll go grab my tent. We'll I'll bring it back. As you grab it. Sure. That was a bit deeper. My balls went in the water that time. <laughs> Sorry guys, inappropriate. Well, that was a bit of fun. Could you quote me the law one more time? The Royal Parks and Other Open Spaces Regulations 1997. Section 16, it's a criminal offence to fail to comply with the reasonable direction given by a constable to leave a park or any park there. With no reason given? No reason given. Fair enough. Same with amplified. Totally respect that. Like... Hope you guys have a great evening. Yeah, you too. Cool. Right. I'm going to go home now. Cool. Cheers. So the reason I said no when they asked me if this was a protest is because of a new Bill of Rights that's been passed, pretty much removing a bunch of rights from all of us, including the right to protest. So I wasn't about to admit to that. That was it. I'd been booted out faster than asylum seekers are being shipped off to Rwanda. But I couldn't give up that easily. I waited for the buzz to die down and returned to try again. I'm getting back on that island, man. I need some sleep. Let's do it. As I wandered towards Buckingham Palace, I noticed a couple of periphery guards snoozing away. Guards are asleep. This makes my job a lot easier. But when I got to my crossing point, I found an right, unwelcome so I'm back visitor. at the place from before. This is where I crossed into the river. Guess what's happened? They've assigned a guard to this spot, obviously to prevent people from doing what I did. But check out what the guard's doing. some big dreams. Anyway, I'll leave him to it and I'm gonna get back on this island. Big ups to that guy. I love that kind of work ethic. Let's do this. Time to get wet. Oh. 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 It's reaching my ghoulies. We all know the hardest part about cold water is when it reaches your balls, isn't it? I swear this whole island's made out of swan shit. I'm on the island and Buckingham Palace. You can see the lights reflected on the water of Buckingham Palace, which is just up there behind that tree. We did it. We made it. There's people coming out. 
let's get this tent up. My tent's a bit wibbly wobbly. By wibbly wobbly, I mean it's totally destroyed. My sleeping bag's still wet. I'm not even wearing any boxes. Bright blue as well, because that really helps with the stealth camping experience that's gonna have to do. I'm going to bed. Also, this island is disgusting. This is pure swan and duck shit all over my feet. Oh, that's gonna seep in through my skin tonight. I love it. Oh man, I'm just sliding through it right now. To be honest, I'm just rubbing it in more crap. We made it. We actually did it. That's sick. Love it, man. Love it. It stinks of swan crap in here. Or duck poo, whatever it is. Maybe it's me. Anyway, I'm going to bed. I can't wait to see what this looks like in the morning. Peace. meters from the Queen. Not the Queen, Royal Family. 100 meters. Right, let's get a move on. Fucking pellets. And I'm all packed up. Just have to get the hell out of Dodge. So that was me spot. I come here and this lovely lady here has offered me a coffee in the morning. People are good, aren't they? Thank you. Well, those ladies were adorable. I was expecting to come out to trouble. I came out to coffee and love, so big love to them. Thanks for watching and don't forget, Prince Andrew's an aunt. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs>